Before this video starts, my new movie, The Contest, is out tomorrow on the 2nd and 3rd of November. You can get your tickets if you haven't got them yet at www.dantdmcinema.com. Enjoy! Today, we are moving from the YouTube business into the theme park business. Welcome! To Parkitect. This is a game where you create your very own theme parks. And I don't know about you, but I think a TDM themed theme park would be pretty cool. I've been yearning to play one of these style of games since we finished the Prison Architect series. And this is pretty much that, but instead of like prisoners and fighting and riots and stuff, we got a theme park a lot happier, hopefully, if I do it right. <laughs> so let's just hop into campaign. Ooh and see what happens. I am mesmerized. What is happening? Oh, I think it's my mouse. Whoops. <laughs> that was my, my bad. Here we go. Tutorial. Do we want to do the tutorial? I feel like we should. Or do we just want to start from scratch? What happens if we just press play? New park. Yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to go into this blind and just make a park. Start. Our journey to becoming a theme park extraordinaire begins. So our goals are to have at least 5,000 guests, have no debt, have a rating of 90%. That sounds pretty good to me. We should probably close it though. Send all the guests home. If there's any guests in this park, you guys are idiots. Why would you come here? Let's change the name of this park. It's currently called Flat Terrain Large. This is called TDM World or Land Planet. Hmm, I think TDM World is probably the best. So we should definitely start off with some rides first, but I'm not sure where we should start. These ones are actually pretty cheap. Roller coasters, not so cheap. Oh my goodness, look at this one. This one is $10,200. And it looks amazing. It's got flames. Showstopper. Oh, you could build like, oh my goodness. It doesn't even fit on the screen. What? It goes through a building. That's madness. I feel like I really want like uh, an archway. Yeah, we've got signs. I want an archway. It looks like we're gonna have to go for a sign instead, but what kind of style do we want? I think gray is good. There it is. Oh, you can make no entry for things. Can I make it say anything? Welcome, losers. There we go. Welcome, losers. What a fantastic place to be. Our first 10 bucks spent. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, you know what? I did. Ha <laughs> ha! That's off center. That's well annoying. Can I undo? Undo. Undo. No, please undo. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I've spent money on this now. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. It's getting out of control. Oh, what is this? Oh, my goodness. I don't know what I've done. This is bad. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna start again. That's better. Yes. I want them to walk over water at the beginning. So now I can fill this up, right? Boom! Then we make a pathway across. I am learning, and those look a different color. Let's change those. Okay, apparently I can't. Oh, there we go. Yes, better. Wait, wait, I think someone just, did someone just come in? They did! Oh, look at this dude! Jennifer, what are you doing here? Are you okay? Ah, oh, there we go. Let's take a quick look at Jennifer. Her hair is the same color. As her skin, like, exactly the same color. That's weird. Why are people coming in? I thought I closed the park. Come on, guys. You're paying a dollar to walk around on pathways. My rating isn't going to be very good, is it? <laughs> Forgot to re-add my sign. Welcome, losers. There we go. Right. People are actually coming into our park for some reason. Are they enjoying themselves? <laughs> for some reason, they actually are. There are no low-intensity rides. The entrance fee is a good deal. It's a dollar! To walk over a bridge. Okay, let's get a ride in here. So you walk over the body of water. I might actually make this whole thing water here. Then we're gonna have a thrill ride. That's right. Everyone say hello to the Enterprise. So I think this is the entrance and then this is the exit. So we need to make the paths for these. There we go. And then we need a queuing system. And that's gonna come out like this. It's gonna be nice and blue. There we go. <laughs> let's just open this bad boy. It costs $3.50. Now, what I used to do in my old theme parks on Theme Park Worlds, Tycoon, whatever it was called, I used to make my park fee really expensive and then make all my rides free. But I don't think that's a good, I don't think that's a good thing to do. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, no. I am glad I'm not riding that. Look at it. It's insane. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. We got people queuing up, though. Patricia, just chilling. I think we need to name this, too. What should we name the ride? This is going to be called the Lab Spinner. That's right. I'm, I'm genuinely making a TDM theme park right now. Right, I need to make this 
blower. There we go. This is a really awkward tool to use. Not gonna lie. Oh, oh, it's raining. Oh, I didn't know that could happen. Look at this. Look at the lights as well. Oh, this looks great. How are people feeling? They're probably extremely wet right now. We need some food places. What should we choose? Burgers, bubble tea, Chinese foods, pizza. Always go for pizza. We're having pizza. We also need customizable shop. I think that means you can like sell stuff. Hot dogs, just get those in there. Any healthy options? No? Pretzels. <laughs> Pretzels aren't healthy at all. all. Right, let's make this like a food court area. What are they complaining about? No boxes. Uh, I don't know what that means. What's wrong? Out of stock. Oh. Oh, I see. Waiting for available worker. Oh yeah, we need staff desperately. Haulers. Let's hire one of those bad boys. Adam Lara. Welcome to the team, my friend. So he's going to haul the products over. Let's get um, Christopher Frederick as well. Delivering pretzels and salt. That's cool. So this is going to be a souvenir shop. You can buy sombreros, cowboy hats. I don't think we want this shop. This shop sucks. Demolish. Goodbye. Souvenirs. That's what we want. We just want it to work by itself. All right, let's get some benches out, shall we? Benches along here. Benches along here. Enjoy your food. Yes, who's this? Patricia! Welcome back. Your favorite attraction was the lab spinner. And that is because that is the only ride that we have. Can't they carry around these re resource crates somewhere else? Patricia, come on. Maybe. That is a fantastic idea. Trish Patricia! I would give you shares, but I'm not going to. This is like a worker's route in. That's a great idea. Then we add a sign. Workers... Only. No entry for guests. Excuse me. What are you doing here? Then this is also going to be no entry. No entry for guests, but everyone else can walk through. That's cool. I was like staff only. So staff only there. And then the losers here. Makes sense. Reginald, you've already breached yourself. Come here. You must ride this ride now. In, in, ride, ride the ride. Reginald, come on. These guys are slowly getting products to them through the staff only section. This is cool. We should make them a different color though. Like definitely. Maybe orange. Oh, it's wood. Okay, wood paths and orange paths for the staff only. We definitely need an umbrella shop around here. Apparently, it rains a lot here. Umbrellas. Get your umbrellas. Let's get some, let's get some bushes in here. Some, some nice plants. Yeah, look at the bushes. If I click them to the grid as well, I get them looking perfect and my OCD doesn't care. We get lamps as well. Oh, we can get little ones, which are okay. But these have to attach to a path, which is kind of annoying. We want these ones. Those ones look kind of weird. I don't like that. Give me my money back. I can't just like these little ones, you know? Yes. The food court has arrived. I need to add a path there. So it's coming along nice. We've got a single ride. And a, a small little food court, which actually looks kind of cool. We've got 19,000 and there are red down signs absolutely everywhere. The guests are saying the pretzels are worth the money. Oh man, the sunglasses are popping off as well. Fantastic. So my next question, where are the toilets? Ah, here they are. Sweet. We need toilets here, definitely. <gasps> I post about lab spin on social media. A ride that will have an increase in customers for a time. I went viral. Yes, lab spinner. Let's go. So let's have toilets there. We could charge. We could charge $100 to pee. But we're not going to do that. That's disgusting. And because we have those now, we can get a janitor. Patsy Lockhart, welcome to the crew. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this guy's hat. Who is this? Patricia again. <laughs> Patricia's loving life. Look at the hat. <laughs> That's insane. First aid. Yeah, we should probably have one of those too. Maybe here, just so it doesn't disturb anything else. Can you charge for first aid? <laughs> Look at all these roller coasters you can get. Should we do a roller coaster? Mini coaster. There's some blueprints already. These ones are insane. Look, they've got like foliage and stuff. That's crazy. You know what? Let's make a mini roller coaster. Let's put it near the entrance so that uh, there can be a lot of space for queuing. Because this is going to be ride of the century. Right, so we need a station so that people can get on. And then I think we should just go up. Slope up. Wait, can this only go a certain high up? I think this might only be able to go a certain high up. I'm going to try a different coaster. I want it to be high and intense. Giga coaster. I don't want the cost a lot. Aeroplane coaster. Oh, wild mouse. I love these ones. Ah, there we go. We don't want a mini coaster. We want these bad boys. Look how high up you can go. Right, we are going straight up, boys. 
That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. Do I have to make this safe so no one dies? Yeah, look, it's going to show me a, blue, a little blueprint. That's cool. All right, so we're going to go around like this just to prepare them. I want to see if this goes round correctly or not. Nope, that gets stuck. Okay, never mind. Let's go back. One second. There you go. You have to put the chains all the way up. That makes sense. Does this work? Yeah, it works. So now we can like bank this as well. So if we do this and a little bit down as well. Oh, you can go under the ground. That's sick. I want to see how crazy this goes. So this goes straight up, then comes straight down. It banks as well. Oh, that's fast. Yeah, that's insane. Oh, I've done an underground piece. Oh, this is gonna be great. Does it make it though? Look at the hologram. Goes round. Down. Oh, it works, dude. I'm a roller coaster master. I just got an achievement as well for something. There is a supply surplus of buns. Decreasing prices by 49%. Great. All right, so I need to see if this can make it up here because then I want to kind of bring it down and spiral it down and try and finish it over here. Let's see if it comes down. Oh my goodness, that's so fast. People are going to throw up everywhere. Oh, that's perfect. So then we want it to spiral to the right, but down at the same time. Many of your guests are thirsty. Ooh, oh, I forgot about that. Um, Yeah, I need, they need drinks. Soft drinks coming up. One second. There you go. We just need a delivery. Then you're good. Back to my roller coaster building. Oh, that's it. That's it. Many of your guests are complaining about vandalism. Make sure there are enough security guards. Oh my goodness. Okay, one second. Let me just finish this. And then I'm good. Does that not work? Location is already occupied. I want it to be the end. Ah, oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. Nice. So now I want the entrance to be here. Exit to be here. Look at this thing. It's ridiculous. All right, here's the queue. This is going to be a pop-in ride. So we're going to make the queue, like, ridiculous. Look at this. It's our flagship ride, guys. We can make it bigger if we need to. But then we also need the exit to go here, but this can be quite long. There we go. Sweet. This is called Runaway Lab Train. That's right. I kind of want to change the colors. Oh, I can change the colors. So I want white and gray for the cars. And the tracks can be black and blue. We have them blue everywhere, boys. Just have them white and then blue. Yes. The Runaway Lab Train is going to be $4. That's right. And it's open for business. Please nobody die oh it's raining again i want to see how this goes so they come up to the top spin around the end straight drop right away underground piece as well while going at top speed gradually ascends takes it nice and slow and then there's a double corkscrew right here that's it that's the stuff right there Oh, look at the lights. The lights look really good. Oh, no. Have people punched my lights? Outrageous behavior. Are you kidding me? Right, we need a mechanic. And looks like we might need ourselves some security as well. Andrew Romero, please patrol the area. Let's get some entertainers too. What do we want our guy to be? Robot, scarecrow, knight, shark, or raptor? I think we're going to go for a raptor. Marianne Rogers, look at her. Beautiful. These sombreros are slightly ridiculous. Are you sad? You can't be sad. Oh, Patricia again. What's up? Oh my goodness. She is in a impatient, tidy, and stingy way. Does she need somewhere to sit down? There's benches. Patricia, I can't have you being sad like this. Oh, you can see her route as well. Oh my goodness. You're walking. You're not using the pathways, huh? Come on. Let's turn that frown upside down. Come on. Just have a seat. Have a nibble. Have some, have some food. Sort your life out. Okay. Problem is people are using this path for the wrong reasons. How can I make this path go underneath? Your boy's got a terraform. Um, I want the path to go underneath here, so let's give it a go. Oh, here we go. He's only gone and done it. That's it right there. Oh, yes. So now I can delete all of this path so it doesn't get confusing. And that's just an exit. Oh, I'm getting good at this now. Two rides operational. Is anyone actually going on this, though? Why is no one going on this? Too tired to work. Oh, no. We need a staff room. Staff room goes here. Patricia, how's it going? She's feeling a little bit better. She's hungry and thirsty, but um, I don't know why, because you could just buy stuff, Patricia. Come on. Intensity 300. Ultra extreme. Some guests like intense elements. Some don't. Their preferences can change. So we have made, I think, the maximum amount of intensity in a ride. That's bad. But how did you get here? Hey, hold up. Stephanie, stop this. Go on this ride. Right here. Go on the ride. 
Go on the right. Steph, go on the right. <laughs> She's angry. Why? No one's ridden it yet. What's going on? Why is... Who's this? This is a janitor. We don't want a janitor's going on here. Maybe it's too expensive. Let's go down to $3 and see if anyone goes on it. Oh, looks too intense. I'm not paying that much. I made it down to $3. We might have just made a really intense ride. And I didn't mean to. It's got a break in the middle. Come on, guys. Let's not get too upset. Wait, people are still vandalizing my light posts. What kind of human is strong enough to kick this thing over? This is a concrete post. We need some more rides. We've got a thrill ride. Let's do a calm ride. Bumper cars, Ferris wheel. A double Ferris wheel looks insane. Let's do a motion simulator. Should be able to stick this down here, right? And then... We can throw them out straight into the food court. Big brain time. There we go. Motion simulator open for business. And it's in the exact colors I need it. Oh, I found a better mode for this. So you can just go down one by one, which is much better. So I want to fill this with water. A crash in a nearby theme park that scared potential customers. Your park will see a decrease in visitors. Wait, I have to take a punishment because someone else crashed? That's unreal. Who was it? I'll find them. Right, let's put water in here, shall we? Bop. Pretty. No one's no one's ridden this yet. I think it's too crazy. Whoa, did you see that? I have no idea what negative and positive vertical G is. But I'm liking that transition. <laughs> right, so guests are feeling generally quite happy. You can't get to the park exit. Six people. Why? What's happening? You just have to walk this way. Come on, guys. Help me out here. You just use your eyes. It's a very, very straight path to the exit. Motion simulator was good. Someone is lost. Pizza, hot dog, can't get to the park entrance. Are you guys stupid? Oh my goodness. Where is this guy running to? He was running. Catching vandal. Oh my goodness, he was chasing a vandal. Where did he go? I want to see this in action. Oh no, lab spinner is broken. We have a guy for this, right? Right, I'm picking you up. And I'm putting you over here. Lab spinner needs you. Wait, that was a janitor. Uh, apologies. Didn't mean to pick you up. Oh, he's already there. Never mind. He's on it. Look at him. He's ready to go. <laughs> we are losing a lot of money. Oh, my goodness. More rides. We need more rides. Thrilling rides. Drop tower. Oh, we can make this higher. Yeah, I don't think people really like the intensity of this, though. They definitely don't like my roller coaster. Zero people have ridden this roller coaster. This was such a waste of money. Is it? Why is it so intense? Oh, man. I thought this was going to be a big hit. This is the janitor. This is the mechanic. No, no one's going for this. I need to edit this roller coaster. Close. Not that it mattered anyway. No one's riding the thing. Right, I'm making a change. You guys don't like it. I'm going to make it a little bit more kiddie for you. <laughs> it's not my fault that you don't like my ride. More vandalism? Catch this vandal, please. Oh, I think I might have fixed it. This can't still be too intense. I take it out of the middle bit. I put a slower section here. What is the rating if I test it? It currently was... Oh, it's gone down by like half. And it's still ultra extreme. Oh my goodness, why? Oh, thunderstorms. You can't run this in a thunderstorm, I guess. All of my rides are shut down because of the thunderstorm. <laughs> I'm gonna lose, buddy. I'm gonna put a giraffe statue in the middle of the water. There's going to be two facing either way. That is majestic. Oh, look. You can get jumping fountains, too. Beautiful. <gasps> a whale? Oh, my goodness. Yes. Can they walk past that or no? Yep, they're walking through it. The whale stays. Oh, wait. I can make it smaller. This is great. Yeah, the whale is going to go in the middle of the jumping fountains. Perfect. Are people still not going on this? This can't be true. Ah, oh, it doesn't even work. That's why no one's going on it. Okay, I fixed it. So I've made it so that there's a break here, lift here, tiny drop here, lift here. So that should slow it down quite a bit. What's it on now? 193, it went up. Oh, okay, outdated values, awaiting new test results. Okay, that's good. Let's see if it actually works this time. So they come down here. This is pretty intense. I'll give you that. That bit is intense. Stop. There we go, a little break. Then a nice gentle lift up to the top. And it should gently float around here and be fine. So now there's only two intense pits and no craziness. See, that's pleasant. That ain't too bad. Then they go around the corner, get a cool little view of the park before they hit the spiral. Here they go. Hey. Perfect. What's the verdict? 193.4. It must change. There's no way. 
192. It went down by like five. Let's take a look at velocity. Oh my goodness, the velocity here is crazy. It's going 65 miles an hour. I've got it. I've got it. Okay, let's try it again. Runaway lab train is broken. Are you freaking kidding me? There's no way. It hasn't even had people on it. That's insane. Hey! Pick him up. Put him here. Repair the lab train, please. So I've changed it so you only come down here. And then it breaks you here. That shouldn't be that intense. Look at these crash test stubbies. Yes! Let's see what happens. So they roll down there. Get the brake on so they can just chill. Because that's still pretty intense, I think. Let's have a look at the graph. Where's the graph at? We want uh, velocity. Oh my goodness, it's still really speedy there. Right, test is concluded. It's on 110 so far. That's not bad. It's gone down a little bit. But the new test results are about to come in. 177. How did it go up? How did it go up? A TV program had a segment about Lab Spinner. That's fantastic. <laughs> lab Spinner is popping off. And I've spent about 40 minutes trying to fix this. I've got it down to... Oh, that's actually not bad. 67. I don't think it was that. 135 still? This thing sucks. Velocity. It's here. This thing is so extreme. I just want to delete the whole thing. If I demolish it, how much do I get? Oh, oh I only got 1,500 back. This sucks so bad, but I need a roller coaster. Let's just get a pre-built one that isn't going to cost us that much. The Worm Express sounds amazing. You know what? Maybe I was just trying to be a bit too crazy with it. Let's try this instead. Cues are coming down as well. Just to make it easier for people. And we've already got a contestant. Nancy Garcia is going for it. Right, colors are changed as well. Let's see the intensity of this one. 8.3. There you go. <laughs> That's one for you suckers who hate any kind of roller coaster. 8.3. Amazing. Why didn't you go on this? You've been on the lab spinner eight times. You're hungry as... Oh my goodness, you have walked around forever. Um, oh my goodness. It's even down to a dollar and no one's going on it yet. Why is this happening? Try making the queue even shorter. Come on. Dewey. Dewey, I'll put you at the front. There you go, buddy. Q skip. He just straight flat out rejected it. Great. Ten times I can't get to the park exit. How is that? Is someone... Where is people stuck? I know. I know what you're going to say. My park sucks. I get it. The best thing about it are the whale and the giraffes. Look at them. They make this place so much nicer. Oh, security, Andy Romero. My man's caught six vandals. That's progress. At least there's something good coming from this. Flowers. If in doubt, put flowers everywhere. This ride is popping. And this is the only one I put the least effort in. It has 68 customers. This one's had two. I think... My biggest flaw right here was my moat. <laughs> People have got to walk so far to get into the park and so far to get out. I was doomed from the get-go. I've ruined it. All-seeing giraffe. Please look over this park and bless it. Guys, I failed. I failed to build a decent theme park. Look at it. It sucks. Man, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. I thought this was going to be something that I could turn into a series, but I don't know if I can. I'm just not cut out for the theme park business. Maybe there's another business we could try, but um, thank you so much for watching anyway. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you are brand spanking new as well by hitting that big red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner, and I'll see you guys, all of you, in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>